wrestling and grappling pedigree. Brandon Halsey called this quite simply, grappler versus striker. We know who's playing the role of who. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is our main event of the evening. And this is an M1 challenge bout in the light heavyweight division. Now let me introduce your fighter in the blue corner. This fighter is 30 years old. He weighed in at 92.8 kilograms. He stands 183 centimeters tall and has a professional record of nine wins and three losses. He is Bellator Grand Prix winner and two-time Bellator middleweight champion. From the United States of America, please welcome Brandon the Bull Halsey. And now welcome his opponent in the red corner. This fighter is 25 years old. He weighed in at 93 kilograms. He stands 185 centimeters tall and has a professional record of eight wins and two losses. He is bronze medalist of the National MMA Championship, National Pancration Champion, Master of Sports in MMA, hand-to-hand -hand combat and complex martial arts. Representing New Stream Team, Storm Fighting School, and Boetz Team, please welcome Mikhail Ragozin. <laughs> and your referee for this bout, Vajislav Kishilov. Fighters, settle. Okay, you know rules. Three round, five minutes. Listen my comments every time. Stay active all the time, okay? Dutch goes. Break a place. Our main event of the evening, whoa, scheduled whoa. for three rounds in the light heavyweight division, Brandon Halsey of the United States versus Mikhail Rogozin of Russia. Sudia, 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 Brina. Are you ready? Are you ready? Round number one. Red, white, and blue trunks for Halsey. Oh, super blue and fast white shot. for Ragozi. He needed that. He had to shoot in. He realized he cannot afford to stand. Ragozi will have worked the body, and that is his weakness. Machine in our fighter meeting, I asked Halsey, how qu quickly do you want to take this fight to the ground? He said, as quickly as possible. That was as quickly as possible. Yeah, that was quick. He wanted it to the ground. To be honest, I overheard his corner talking to him while I was in the ring there and they were saying be fast be quick be fast and that's exactly what they meant take down but now in a half guard throwing strikes from the half guard position now is Halsey Halsey has made his reputation in MMA largely with that relentless and at times overwhelming top game tremendous heavy top pressure to showcase that now against Mihail where it goes and we're going to trying to sit up and through. Well, he missed it there, holds it. Oh, he's managed to recover. Oh, he's sucking in the leg. As soon leg. as someone goes up to the elbow, you grab the elbow. As soon as they go up to the hand, you pull the wrist back. There we go, he nice to pull the elbow out. He's trying to pull the arm now. Pull the arm, put him back on the canvas. There we go, we get it. That was better that time. Goes in again, trying to sit up to no avail. Left hand's partially getting through from Halsey. Again, he needs to pull the arm free. Oh, big shots, though. Clean and unfettered with the left hand to the face of Rogozin by Halsey. Rogozin will take a few of those shots to get back to his feet. He needs to step over the back of the leg if he wants to get this. Credit to Rogozin getting back to his feet. Yeah, that's hard work against somebody like Halsey on top of you. He's a great wrestler. Halsey now looking for a throw, now yeah, looking that, for an outside that's trip. trip. That's what I was saying for him, to get the leg on the outside, he managed to do it. I mean, albeit Halsey is a, a way better accomplished wrestler than what I am, but I've been in this game a long time. It's little signs like that, what you see, he needs to pull the hand away again. Halsey sitting He's up. sitting on mounted position, this could be dangerous. Halsey so heavy in this position as well. Goes in absolutely stuck against the bottom turnbuckle. He needs to figure for his legs if he can. Halsey on top position now. So simply smothering thus far from Halsey. 
Great that work, one of damage. great work. That's better. He pulls him all the way down to the canvas. You're seeing positional dominance right now. Early stages, 2.15 remaining round number one, but thus far all Brandon Halsey. Yeah, Halsey needs to cross face. Cross face means put the forearm, oh, nice bridge. Beautifully done by Rakosin and back to his feet. Oh, big right hand. Oh, we've got a uppercut on the way in. Halsey ate that right uppercut, paying the price to get back to the inside oh, he dropped and hitting in the turns. takedown. He dropped and turned, that was beautiful. Sight control now for Halsey. Rogozin was holding the guillotine, wisely let it go. Short hammer fist now from Halsey. Defensive move now, Rogozin. He's holding Halsey down so he cannot really do much. 90 seconds remaining, round number one of this, our main event, Brandon Halsey versus Mikhail Rogozin. Warning from Yacheslav Kiselev. Using the elbow, side elbow. No elbows, and that includes forearms to the head, standing or on the ground in M1 under our rule set in this promotion. Well, it was a clear cut elbow. Halsey is looking at our matchmaker as if to say. No backhand. Backhand. We'll see it here. Clearly, that's the elbow. The tricep is constituted as part of the elbow, just like the forearm is. He did debate, though, between Halsey, his corner, the yeah. Yacheslav Kiselev. I was going to say, there's a lot of discrepancy there. Hold oh, big right hand on the way in. Halsey has come into this fight with a, a will to win. Obviously, he was disappointed with his 25-second loss against the teammate of Rogozin, Alexander Shlomenko. Machine, I don't know that any fight for any fighter is career-defining, but there are definitely crossroads fights. Oh, nice turn. Halsey on a three-fight losing streak is clearly fighting a crossroads fight tonight. I mean, it doesn't mean that he's lost, he's out, he's over. But what it does mean is his status. His stock goes down with four fights lost in a row. So this is his fourth fight, win or lose. We'll see how it goes by the end of the night. Halsey single-minded, fully intent, taking Rogozin to the ground, staying tight, staying heavy. He's doing just that. 20 seconds remaining, round number one. Rogozin, to his credit, back to his feet, but you see how tight Halsey is. Yeah, chest Halsey. to chest. Halsey using that head control as well. Level change from Halsey. Looking for one more takedown before the end of round number one. Won't get it on the stand up, the upright from Rogozin, the gong, the end of the opening round. Well, that was a clear cut cool round for Halsey, albeit he got warned for the elbow to the back of the head. You can't really, if the elbows were allowed in one, you can't really penalize the guy for throwing an elbow at the back of the head. The fighter on the bottom was turning his head. And when a fighter turns the head for them to be allowed to be hit in the back of the head, it's not classed as an illegal elbow. It's only illegal when you aim for the back of the head. Halsey continually closing the distance, throwing that right hand, punch to the inside. Well, the goes in straight back on his feet. Halsey still sitting down, taking a drink of water. Maybe he's just using a, a tactic to save his energy. But he did a lot of work with those takedowns. But now Rogozin is going to expect Halsey to rush in. Will that make him hesitate with the shots? Will he be looking just for the sprawl? Round number two. Halsey twice now feigning the level change. Nothing on the body kick for me. How Rogozin? He took the legs away. The back leg. Halsey right back to the inside. Halsey fishing for the inside trip. Yeah, he tried to go for the trip on the inside there, Sean. 
He's got a nice strong body lock. She continually throughout this fight thus far, we're seeing how tight Halsey is standing and on the ground against Rogozin. Hits that take down immediately to the back. Oh, gets one hook in. Well, this is a different Brandon Halsey than we've seen in the past few fights he's had. He needs to be careful not to lose position. With one hook now, he's got two hooks. He needs to be careful not to cross his ankles. There's a submission waiting to happen. We've seen it happen in M1. But Rogozin doesn't realize he's got the ankles crossed. If Rogozin puts his leg over the ankle and figure falls his own legs, that's a submission. Halsey not committing to the body triangle. He's using the crossed ankles. The only reason I think he's not going to the body triangle is I think that holds his leg. Oh, there we go. And then he tried it. Is because his legs are so stocky. I don't think he can actually do the triangle. Now back mount for Brandon Halsey. Still looking for the rear naked choke. Oh, turns beautiful, Rogozin. Gorgeous turn from Mihail Rogozin. That's perhaps the biggest ovation of the night for any fighter from this Kazan crowd. Working the body. He knows he's got a weak body. Rogozin now diving into the open guard of Halsey off of the right hand. Three minutes remaining round number two. Well, we know that Halsey has great wrestling ability, but a lot of wrestlers do not like to be on the back. Big left hand after the right to the body from the Howard goes in. Goes in, clearing the legs, the left hand. Halsey making no attempt for the up kick. Halsey making no attempt to stand back up. Clearing the leg again. That's a little bit better by Holds. He's going to try and get to his knees. This crowd here oh, at he goes to his back. He realized he was in danger. He Full. realized the Gozin was going to take his back. Fully animated, full voice now. With the exception of Halsey's corner, everyone, and I mean everyone in this building, supported me, Hyler Gozin. Going to work for the knee bar. He could do a switch into a heel hook. He missed it. Pays the price. It's the left and the right. Back to side control now for Mihail Rogozin. Yeah, strong position in the half guard now. Stepping over. Big left hands to the body for Mihail Rogozin. Back to his feet. Isn't it crazy when a guy's on the floor, instead of punching the head, you punch the body because you know that his body is weak. Tried to scramble back to his feet to no avail. Halsey giving his back. Gave it, took it away. Trying to roll to a better position now, trying to explode out. And the half guard again. Oh, he's going to go for a key lock. Going hard for the key lock. That was me. Oh, he's it. got it. He's got it. And the muscle. Oh, I was just about to say it. The... The arm and the muscle on Halsey will be very restricted on movement. Why Rogozin left go of that, I do not know. So Halsey is too flat on his back to try and attempt to get up here. Well, Halsey, Rogozin staying methodical while Halsey is still grounded, diving back in. Into the open guard of Halsey. Two rights to the body. 35 seconds remaining, round number two. It was one-way traffic for Brandon Halsey, now it's one-way traffic oh, for Mihal he's mounted, Sean. He's mounted. Halsey did well to escape that mount. Turn to north-south, Halsey trying to scramble. Front choke position now for Rogozin. Oh! Proving that tight! Oh! He's Halsey hit popping his head free. Audacious on the Peruvian necktie attempt for Mihal Rogozin. He's mounted. Final seconds, round number two, Halsey holding mount. That is the end of oh, round two. Oh, I think that's one each shot. One round each. Fully agreed, Machine. And both guys know they need top position to win.
Halsey eating the body kick, trying to close distance. Looking for the rear naked choke, and that was a gorgeous technical and explosive turn from Mihail Rogozin. Halsey then stuck on the bottom for a large portion of round number two. Closing stages of the rounds, Rogozin going for the audacious Peruvian necktie, couldn't get it. Halsey finishing round two in mount. Machine, I have commentated over 2,000 MMA fights on television. Only two times have I seen a Peruvian necktie fully executed to the submission win. Well, it was on, it was there. The execution was pretty good. The only downside of it was the sweat. Sweaty arms, sweaty neck, and Halsey is shaven. It's a lot easier for the head to slip out. Third and final rounds, our final round of the evening. M1 Challenge 83. Oh, nice uppercut. Halsey driving back to the inside. Goes in literally sitting on the bottom rope. Halsey looking for the ankle pick. Yeah, he's gonna try and pull the ankle out, Sean. Now he's gonna try and step round. Over under from Rogozin. Go for the high crotch. Oh, I thought he was gonna lift him. Big wide defensive base held by Mihail Rogozin. Needs to rip that leg out. He's gonna try it. Halsey abandoning the single. Halsey again looking for the ankle pick. Now to the single leg. Well, let's hope. Oh, he's gonna pick him up and turn him. I was gonna say, let's hope that Halsey doesn't burn himself out, but he's managed to get it. Great cradle. Halsey exploding That's through good and work into by side Halsey. control. Mount, mount, good work for indeed. how long? Halsey looking to hook the far side leg, stepping over. The cornerman of Halsey is shouting, hips down, hips down. Now you took the back before, Halsey. Halsey showing his folk style wrestling background there with that really clever turn. Corner man is shouting to Halsey to rest. Clever tactic if that's what he does, but he needs to keep the action moving, otherwise the referee will stand it. Half guard is a strong position. Back to Eskrim, body lock from the bottom for Mihal Rogozin, but very defensive now is Rogozin. Very heavy as Halsey. Short left hands to the head from Brandon Halsey. Halsey has to be very clever here. He's got to keep tight. He can't make any mistakes. Because Rogozin, Rogozin will move and turn at any moment. Again, he, complaining about the back of the head. There's a fine line between aiming for the back of the head and the fighter turning his head. If you aim for the side of the face and the fighter turns his head and hits the back of his head, that's the fighter's fault, not the guy who's throwing the punch. Machine, I agree 100%. Halsey trying to pass through the open half guard of Mihail Rogozin. Trying to work the underhook as Rogozin. Trying to go for a sweep now. He needs to be careful not to get that arm trapped under the leg, which he has done. From a half guard, you can actually sweep from there, but decide to leave it. This could be just enough to go ahead on the scorecard, Sean. Good short, sharp left hand from Halsey. And got Rogozin to turn onto his hip. Rogozin, if he turns, he could get out of here. Halsey trying to suck in the wrist. He needs to forget about the punches like that. He needs to control the head and throw him back over. But Rogozin has got ankle. Oh, he left it. Rogozin That's nearly better. Now he's back. turning him. That's what he needed to do. Cross face, turn him over. All the hard work now that Rogozin has done. For nothing. It's a slow smother, short, sharp shot, but it is winning the round. And this is what Halsey is known for. With 25 remaining third and final round. Halsey very effective with his top game in round one, and we're seeing that here in the third and final round. A lot of people say this is too much of a smother, it's not really MMA, but to be honest, as long as he's throwing punches, it's still MMA. Maybe wrestling, but he's punching well, he's striking well, he's controlling the fight. 
I'm definitely not one of those people who would say that. This to me is a really smart tactical fight for Brandon Halsey. At the end of the day, Sean, we said he's on a three loss streak. He can't afford to lose on a fourth. So he's not going to take any chances. He's closed the distance as much as he could, as fast as he could. And he's just kept Rogozin on his back. Machine, to me, this sport is about taking your skill set and utilizing it to the best of your abilities. That's what Brandon Halsey is doing in this fight. He's certainly doing that in round three. He's exactly done that. He's controlled this whole round now. Gozen might be frustrated. He probably is, but he does not have an answer right now on the bottom. Halsey continuing the work, lands that left hand to the head. And there was, there was a lot at stake for Halsey. He realized he had to win this fight. So coming into this fight, you're kind of thinking to yourself, what if I lose? What if I do lose again? But if my unofficial scorecard is anything to go by, I think Mr. Brandon Halsey will have taken this fight by unanimous decision, two rounds to one. 15 minutes up, 15 minutes down. They're already celebrating in the corner of Brandon Halsey. Brandon Halsey told me very candidly, very honestly, that he could not continue his pro MMA career as a middleweight. He had to fully commit to light heavyweight. He looked very good back at light heavyweight tonight for the first time since November 2013. And shake with Halsey if you have to slap Kiselev. Kiselev on that elbow strike, even though it was argued by Halsey, more, more, more vociferously by his corner, Kiselev not taking a point, just the warning. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard for a unanimous decision in favor of your winner, Brandon the Bull Halsey. Brandon, quick word with you, champion. Quick word. Brandon, a lot of people say that you needed that win. You moved up to 205. Do you believe that putting weight on instead of the horrible weight cut that you have has brought you back to a winning style? Brandon, many people think that this victory is absolutely necessary in your career. What do you think? Is it on you? Oh yeah, I need that. Um, going, going up in weight was, uh, I could feel the difference in the fight. I felt clean. Just got to get used to fighting at a heavier weight. I think I need to maintain uh, my weight a little bit better. But like I said, it's trial and error. It's good I got the W, got to go three rounds, shank off that ring rust. Да, я чувствовал себя в этот раз намного лучше. В этот раз мне не приходилось так много гонять веса. Я смог сконцентрироваться именно на подготовке к бою. И мне потребовалось какое-то время, чтобы привыкнуть работать в этом весе. Два раунда я потратил на то, чтобы скинуть ржавчину с себя. И в третьем раунде я смог себя показать. You're back to winning ways. How does it feel? You must be elated getting back to your winning streak now. Yeah, it's the first of many. Uh, I'm up at a new weight class, putting the 205 division pound on watch. And you know what? I'm going to get better and better with every win. Get used to get that win and roll and train going, baby. Мне понравилось драться в новой весовой категории, и вы меня еще в ней увидите. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Brandon Halsey. Brandon Halsey had a clear eye game plan and he fully executed it tonight. Our main event M1 Challenge 83 from Basket Hall in Kazan, Russia versus Mikhail Rogozin. Halsey immediately hitting a takedown to start this fight. Going to work with heavy top pressure. Halsey willing to take shots to close the distance. See, taking those right hands to the body, taking that right hand. The level changes, the takedowns.
Halsey going hard for the rear naked choke. That's in round two. That was the turn for Mihail Rogozin. Led to a very strong round two for Rogozin. Halsey, though, regaining control of this fight in round number three. Just no answer from the bottom for Mihail Rogozin. Halsey, truly dominant with his top game tonight. The winner, by way of unanimous decision, Brandon Halsey defeats Mihail Rogozin. We are back with you live from St. Petersburg, Russia on Friday, October 27th for M1 Challenge 84. For Vadim Finkelstein, my broadcast partner and great friend, Ian the Machine Freeman, and our entire M1 crew, I'm Sean Wheelock. Thanks for watching M1 Challenge 83 from Kazan, Russia.